Mr. Santega, thank you for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Let's begin. When did you first come to the realization that you wanted to pursue a career in government? It was the same day I became a man. When was that day? That was a very, very long time ago. first time that I'd ever ran for my life, but also the first time I'd ever stood up for it.
problem had become my life, but my love for it was not nearly as strong as my fear of death because of it. So then how did you stand up for something you were afraid to defend? I read every single page that day. No food, no water. Until every last word. I knew no fear, and I felt protected. By what? Faith. A new man awoke within me. He is the man you see today. And so we fought. We fought for what we knew was right. For our liberty that was promised to us by our culture and taken away by our government. It was the only way for our voice to be heard throughout the nation. Did you feel at any point that you were partaking in some sort of radical extremist group? That you were the outlier in the equation of governmental order? the same religion and beliefs, but we were forced to do it in secrecy because of a tyrant and his henchmen. We were the majority, so my question is, who were the true radicals? Some have stated that the revolt was a backwards movement in our nation's development, and has set us back from competing with international superpowers such as India and the U.S. in economic and technological achievement for at least 50 years. The tyrants can continue to speak all they want. That's the liberty that my campaign supports 100%. But who's going to listen to convicted felons? We have more technological and economic potential than we've had in the last 15 years. If anything's backwards, it's the tyrants who once ruled, and that's why they're behind bars now. The key is social development. We now have cultural beliefs that represent the majority. The voice can now stem into our government's new democratic infrastructure, finally making this country a true representation of our people. We will be standing alongside the U.S. in no time. My first objective in office will be to earn this nation a position in the U.N. where our voice can finally be heard, not just within our country, but our world. Well, there you have it, Max Santiago, ready to lead our nation into the future. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Mr. Santiago, I really support what you're doing here. You're exactly what this country needs. Thank you. Now go out and vote. <laughs>
Yeah.